So hi everyone, welcome back to the channel and today's video is a bit of a follow-up video to last week's when we looked at how easy or difficult is it to queue straight reliably every single time. So if you haven't seen that video, you can click up here and that will take you to last week's. And just quickly before we get into this one, if you're new to the channel and you haven't subscribed, please consider subscribing, that just really helps me to keep all this content coming regularly. Also remember to give the video a like and also you can click the little notification icon bell and that means every time I make a new upload you'll be notified and you won't miss another video. So let's have a look at this one which is all about our potting angles. Now, so this brings us on to judging angled shots. So we're going to practice our straight queuing as a, a separate thing that we want to try and get right so that we feel like that's in the locker and we feel like we're queuing a bit straighter. And then we've also got angle recognition. Now, don't think about angle recognition in terms of you're going to need to learn every single angle all around the table. So you're going to have to put the white in different positions and learn when it's quarter ball, when it's half ball, when it's a bit less than half ball, when it's not quite quarter, quarter ball. You don't need to quite think of it like that. If you set yourself up some key angles around the table, once you start learning those other angles around the table, you'll just start to recognise them more easily. So what I like to do with a shot like this, so I'm going to do it on the black because this is a very key shot that obviously, this is where we do a lot of our scoring. Let's make a mark. So we're going to give ourselves a little angle on the black. So let's make a mark on the table. So I'll just dip my finger in my chalk, make a mark so I can see where to put the white back each time. And now I've got a collection of reds here as well, so I'm going to keep putting these reds onto the black spot so I don't have to do a lot of walking about when I practice this routine. So we're going to do the same things with our cue action. We're just going to try and cue straight. Don't try and steer the ball in. Just try and trust in that straight cue action that you've been practicing on, on around the table on your different levels. So I trust that. And then we get down to the black, and let's say we find out that, that we don't get the pot. So let's say we... Okay. So I've looked at my first shot and I've gone right. I saw my black hit here. So let's try another one. So let's, uh, so let's have another look. So let's try and get this pot again. So let's have a look at the black. So down on the shot, play my straight delivery. Ah, so I found that both of my shots have hit just before the pocket here. Okay, so what I'm gonna do now is I'm going to have one more go, see if I can get the pot. So I'm just going to get down and look at it and where I think I'm going to pot that ball. So let's have a look. So I'm going to get down to have a look. Ah. So each time when I've got down and I thought to myself, in my mind, I'm going to pot that black, every single time it's hit just too thick on the pocket here. So I tried to use my strength cue and trust in that. And I've actually found that all of my results there gave me that same position on the cushion there, it was a bit thick. Now, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to make an adjustment with my aiming. So, to me, on those other shots, it looked like I was going to pot the black. I felt like it was going to go in, but I know that they didn't. They all hit too thick. So I'm going to aim a little bit too thin. I'm going to aim to just mi overcut the black and just miss the pocket very slightly. So let's try that. So let's try that. And these are all the things that what I'm trying to show you here is all the very common things you'll get when players are learning. So I'm get, trying to show you these, these common things that happen. So let's try that. So let's have a look. So let's pop the, try and pot it. Ah, so I was closer, much closer, but I still did catch this far jaw. So even though I'd, I've now aimed too thin, but I actually did heat a little bit too thin there on the shot. Okay, so black back on the spot. Let's do that again. Not going to change anything again. I'm going to get some feedback, so I'm going to try the same thing. Aim a bit too thin, so to me, the shot looks a little bit too thin, like it's going over here, but I'm going to trust that anyway. So let's have a go. So, see what happens. So, nice straight queuing. Ah, so it's gone in. So, nice and happy with that, because that one's gone in. Didn't look right to my mind, but the shot went in. So let's try another one. So let's try the same thing. So I'm aiming a bit thin again. I'm aiming over here, where it looks a little bit too thin to my mind. So let's try that. So let's try it again. Straight cue in, keep still. Ah, it's gone in again. So I'm starting actually to find that what I thought was the correct potting angle was actually wrong. I wanted to hit too much of this red and I'm actually finding that by hitting it a little bit thinner than my mind is comfortable with, 
the last few have actually gone into the pocket now. So let's try that again. So it's going to look a little bit thin to me. So I'm still going to commit to it being a bit thin. And it's gone into the pocket again. So all of those now are starting to go in. Now, this is what happened with my game. When I started to think of it like that, that you have to force yourself out your comfort zone a little bit. So I recognised I got the same problem where that angle was looked a little bit too thick each time. What I had to do was I had to say, right, I'm always hitting too thick, so I'm going to aim a little bit thinner. It's going to feel a bit uncomfortable to me. But when they start going in, your mind, when you've done that for two or three practice sessions, you'll actually start to recognise that angle on the black and it won't be a problem then. It will just start to look like I've potted 50 of them. I know when I aim for this angle, the ball always goes in. So that's the way to start thinking about your potting angles. But it requires that you do pay quite a bit of attention when you're playing these shots. You've got to make sure you're concentrating and that you're looking at what the picture looks like when you're standing up behind the shot, what it looks like when you're down on the shot, so that you are getting that feedback and starting to learn those potting angles more quickly. Now what you'll find then over the next few weeks when you practice like that, so you're going to do your, like you say, your straight cueing and your angled shots, you can then start giving yourself different angled shots. So make a mark where this one is here on the yellow, for example. So this is excellent for improving your game because we all need to be able to clear the colours. And then you can start learning your, your angle on a yellow shot like this. So you'll get more used to that shot. And if you miss them, do the same thing that we did on the black. Pay attention to where that ball goes and start to learn those angles. If you need to make a compensation and retrain your mind for that angle, that's exactly what you need to do. And over the next few weeks, that will start to become normal. So a routine like this, excellent. And as I say, once you start getting comfortable on those angles at other parts of the table, you actually then start learning them all round the table as well. It's not just that each one angle that you learn is one angle that you've learned. You'll actually start to get comfortable with those all round the table. And when you're playing different shots, then you'll start to feel like, okay, I actually now start to recognise the angles more easily on lots of different shots. And then you can, like I say, exactly like we're doing here, you can start to practise things like your colours clearance like this, and you'll start to have more success once you know that, yep, I've been practising my angles around the table. It starts to become normal on all different shots, and that's how you, you build up your success and you'll start to get much more confidence all around the table. So, as always, I really hope you found this video useful. If you did, remember to give the video a like. Also, if you're new to this channel and you haven't subscribed, please consider subscribing because that just helps me to keep these videos coming regularly. Now, next week's video is going to be a video all about the setup and getting your fundamentals and your foundations right on the table, and that then gives you a really solid base to start improving your snooker. Also, for anyone that's interested in any personal one-to-one -one coaching sessions, I'm working with players full-time on the table, helping them to improve their game all the time. So if you have a look in the description box below, you'll see all my details there, my website, my email address. You can also contact me on WhatsApp as well. And as always, stay safe, everybody. Catch you in the next one. Cheers.